Thunderdome Boxing Talk. This is Anthony here. Alright, I'm going to do this video on the uh, Gennady Golovkin Triple G versus uh, Martin Murray fight that's uh, happening in Monte Carlo on uh, February 21st, 2015. Alright, uh, Triple G is uh, 31 and 0, 28 knockouts. He stands 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch reach. <clears throat> Excuse me, and Martin Murray is 29, 1 and 1, 12 knockouts. He stands 6 foot tall uh, with a 73 inch reach, but he is a big, big middleweight, okay? And uh, that one loss and that one draw, uh, those should both be wiped away, okay? And I'll explain why in a minute here. Uh, so I'm going to start with him first, okay, because there's a few things, uh, some you need to know. Okay, M Martin Murray has the one loss and the one draw I told you about. However, he is basically, no, n not basically, I mean, he is an undefeated fighter, okay, with no draws either. I I'll explain. All right, uh, Murray fought Felix Sturm, who is from Germany, in Germany. And Murray beat him, okay? But Sturm got the the love from a hometown decision and was able to get a draw, okay? And uh, he didn't have to take an L. Sturm didn't have to take the L. Next, uh, Martin Murray fought uh, Sergio Martinez, okay? And we all know, we all saw that fight, and we watched Martin Murray beat him, okay? He even uh, put Sergio down, you know? Uh, and Sergio is from Argentina, and uh, Murray fought him in Argentina. You would think he would have learned from the Sturm fight not to do that, but hey, he's a road warrior, he'll go and do that shit, okay? Uh, anyway, Murray beat uh, Sergio, plain as day, go watch the footage. He actually uh, beat him, uh, they robbed him. But Murray should be the lineal middleweight champion because he beat him before Miguel Cotto did, okay? So, you know, think about that however you want. I know how I think about it, okay? And, uh, you know, I, you know he, he beat him soundly. However, he was again on the short end of the stick and the victim of another hometown decision, but this time they actually uh, went as far as to give Murray his first loss. Now, this isn't just my opinion. Go watch the fight. Okay, like 99% of the fans agree that Murray was robbed of the lineal middleweight title, okay? So, in my eyes, he holds the title, okay? Just like, you know... Like it, in reality, Martin Murray is the real middleweight uh, lineal champion. You know, Cotto has the title, yes, on the books uh, he does, but Murray was the first to take it from Martinez. So like I said, so in my eyes, and most knowledgeable boxing fans agree, okay? Uh, so in my eyes, and the uh, eyes of most uh, boxing purists, this fight is for the lineal middleweight championship between two undefeated champions. So in actuality, this is the best fight we could get, you know. And it's the best fight for both uh, Golovkin and Murray, you know. But, but more so for uh, Golovkin, because if he wins, he technically... Uh, becomes the new lineal middleweight champion. Not on the books, of course, where it counts, but the people in the know understand what's up, okay? Uh, so if you don't like Murray as an opponent for uh, Golovkin, then I hate to say it, but you, you must not know much about boxing, you know? I'm glad uh, Golovkin is getting uh, getting to fight Murray, you know, for the simple reason... Uh, 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 of this fight is for the the real middle uh, middleweight lineal championship. Plus, Murray is just a damn good fighter who uh, is coming to win. Uh, and it 
it, it's really between uh, two undefeated champions for all the marbles. You know, it won't be on the books that way, but who cares? The real boxing fans know what's up. And, uh, and Murray is, like I said, he's a big, big middleweight and strong as an ox, too, you know. All, always in shape, also. Uh, so, like, this fight is huge, you know. This fight is huge to real boxing fans. Murray is a much better fighter than, say, like, um, Quillen, you know. And, and he's much more proven, also. You know, Quillen hasn't even fought a, a fight against an opponent uh, who's even near the the level of Murray. Because if he had, he'd have an L on that record. On that cherry padded record of his, you know, and uh, and Martin Murray's a stay busy fighter, just like Golovkin. You know, he didn't do he didn't fight four times in 2014, but he fought three times in 2014, which is good enough, you know. So he'll uh, he'll be very sharp when um he fights Triple G on uh, the box rec on the box rec ra rankings, which um are the only rankings I go by. Because they're computerized, you know, and you can't bribe a computer. Um, plus, they allow you to, like, see how their system works. Uh, so it's 100% trustworthy and the most accurate rankings you can find. Like, uh, they go, it goes by, like, um, who your opponents were and who your opponents' opponents were and your opponents' opponents' opponents and their win-loss records and how they... Uh, fared against everybody, and it's all, like, mathematically added up, and it comes out perfect, man. It really does. Um, M Martin Murray is ranked 8th, but, like, he would have been ranked number 1 or 2 if, uh, he wasn't blatantly robbed in those two fights. Um, so Triple G's really, uh, fighting, like, the, the number 2, um, middleweight in the world, who technically holds the lineal middleweight championship title, you know. Uh, Triple G is ranked number one, uh, and I just told you how their rankings go and how they, like, come up with his rankings. So uh, that lets you know right there how good his opponents uh, have actually been. So you sound like a complete fool when you guys run around saying uh, he only fought bums. You know, I bet some of you dumbasses out there were calling Murray a bum too, huh? You know, well now, uh, well now you see, he may be the best middleweight in the world. You know, I'd probably say he is like the second or third best middleweight in the world at worst, okay? If he can beat Golovkin, he is definitely the best middleweight in the world. So how the hell are some people trying to say this fight is garbage? If you say that, just quit watching boxing because, like, you truly don't know shit, okay? Um, for the fans and Triple G, this is the best fight that, uh, could be made. This, um, like, kinda is, like, basically the Kodo fight on terms of, like, significance, uh, and competition, but... Instead of Kodo and the the lineal title that's on the books, we get the real lineal middleweight champion and the uh, two best middleweights in the world fighting each other for that championship, okay? Kodo is the lineal champ by name only, you know. Any real boxing fan knows that's Murray's title, okay? And he's undefeated too, okay? Uh... Here's the, here's the list of people between uh, the two of those guys, and it's in no particular order. But uh, it goes, you know, G's, uh, G's one, Murray's eight. I'll tell you everyone in between. You let me know what you think of them. S you got Solomon, you got Taylor, Quillen, Sturm, Cotto, and Martinez. And we all know Sergio's probably uh, never fighting again anyway. But what I, what I wanted to... Why I did that for is like, you tell me who on that list can be either one of these guys, Golovkin and Murray, that is, you know? That's right. Not one of them can beat either of these guys, okay? Uh, 
for the real boxing fans, this is the best fight we could ask for. Okay, and um, you should thank Martin Murray for being the only one out of all of the top ten middleweights to step up and fight Golovkin. And you know why that is? Do you know why he wanted the fight? Because he knows he's the real line lineal middleweight champion, and uh, and he wants to prove it, you know? Unlike the rest of them ducks who are scared to step up and fight each other, or uh, scared to fight uh, either one of these guys, mainly. Um, so these two have to fight each other, which is cool by me, like as a fan, because this is the most competitive fight we could get, you know? Anyone else, Triple G is just going to blow out the water. This guy might actually, you know, put up a really good fight, you know? Uh, uh, after this fight, if Golovkin wins, uh... I'm sure he will take on, like, uh, another top ten uh, guy, you know. And then he will fight the uh, winner of Cotto and Canelo. But uh, as of now, I think uh, Cotto will win that matchup against uh, Canelo. That's, like, just my months away, like, prediction type thing. Um, and hopefully Cotto, if he wins, steps up to the plate and doesn't vacate his title, you know. Because by that time, a golovkin Cotto uh, bout will be a massive pay-per-view event, you know. And I believe uh, Golovkin will beat Cotto as well, you know. And then uh, he will be the the real lineal champ, like, in the books, and not just the, like, people in the nose version, like us, okay? Um, and Glovgin will be able to call out any middleweight he wants, and they will either have to fight, or be humiliated for the punks they are, even worse than now, you know? Um... So if anyone dares to try and tell you that this fight is like garbage and uh, Triple G's fighting another bum, uh, tell them what I just told you or uh, send them a link to this vid and uh, I'll shut them up for you. Is that a deal? Deal, okay. Uh, man, like, just, all honesty, I can't wait for this fight. Like, I don't know about you, but I can't wait. And like I said uh, earlier, Murray is big as hell for a middleweight, you know. And he's very durable. A dude don't got an ounce of quit in him, okay. He, uh, he knows how to box and he knows how to fight also, you know. I mean, wow, like th this is going to be a great fight. A great fight. Murray isn't coming to, like, uh, fall over and play dead, you know. Uh, Glovkin got himself a real live elite middleweight on his hands. And yes, I, uh, consider, uh, Martin Murray an elite middleweight. You can't be, like, the real lineal undefeated champion at middleweight and not be elite, okay? It, it just don't work that way. Uh, so expect to see Golovkin tested in this fight. And, like, tested for sure. Uh, I sincerely believe that Murray is Golovkin's toughest opponent in the middleweight division. And I don't see uh, anybody in the middleweight division that Murray uh, can't beat. You know, and that's why no big names wanted to fight him either, you know. So Murray and Golovkin kind of got, like stuck fighting each other, which benefits us, the fans. Uh, I, I, I even seen some assholes out there calling Murray a bum. Like, like, can you believe that? A bum? I mean, either they don't know boxing, or they hate Triple G that much. It's sad. They're, they're missing out on what should be an all-time great fighter, because you're mad that he will whoop your favorite fighter. You know, stop the hate. Just stop the hate on the dude, man. Most of y'all 
are in your 20s, your 30s. I mean, a couple of you guys even in your 40s and still hating and still acting so immature. Grow up and appreciate the fact that you might uh, get to watch a fighter develop into the best middleweight of this generation. You know, Golovkin is doing the same thing that Hopkins did, same thing that Hagler did, and even as of recently, the same thing Martinez did. You know, he's taken uh, four fighters out every year until no one is left, and uh, one of the big names has to fight him. You know, because he took out everyone else and has ripped every little title from around their waists, okay? Uh, only people that don't like Triple G are the ones that uh, know he will whoop their favorite fighter's ass uh, if their favorite fighter doesn't duck him, you know what I mean? Uh, Murray's the toughest guy out there, you know, point blank. Besides Triple G, it's it's Triple G and I'm uh, Martin Murray, man. And um, he's the tough Murray's the toughest guy out there that is willing to to fight Triple G. You know, uh, imagine like Kodo Golovkin right now. It it would still be huge right now. You know, but Kodo don't want none. Uh, Canelo would be huge right now, but he don't want none. Uh, you know, Quillen would be uh would be big. But he sure as hell don't want none. Um, you know, it, it, it's easy to say, yeah, I'll fight Triple G. But believe me, if Quillen was serious about that shit, uh, that fight would have been made instead uh, of this fight. You know, at least Quillen has a real title that Golovkin wants. So believe me, uh, if that fight could have been made... If uh, Quillen wasn't just, uh, you know, blowing smoke out his ass, that fight would have been made before this one. You know, this one actually has significance, but Quillen actually has a belt that he wants, okay? So, yeah, they would have taken that fight first, without a doubt. You know, it, it, it's just yapping, you know, just yapping, yapping, yapping. If, uh... If, if if Quillen were real and honest, uh, him and Golovkin would be in the ring scrapping, okay? Uh, Ward would be good, you know, but he don't want none either. You know, there's a brand new interview out there uh, with his trainer, Virgil, and Virgil says they won't fight Golovkin right now. Virgil said, not without some tune-ups, First, okay, tune ups. Well, that's like a year or two from now. So Ward uh, needs to shut his mouth, you know, with that anytime, anywhere BS. Because apparently he must have got called out on it. And uh, it was a crock of you know what, okay. Um, quit blowing smoke, Ward. Uh, knowing you don't want no smoke, you know, your mouth is going to write a check your ass can't cash. You know, so every chi every Triple G hater, please stop talking about Ward. His own trainer said no to the fight. Said not now. Not without some tune-ups. Plural, tune-ups. You know, that's like a year or two from now. They don't want no smoke, man. Like, come on. Like, what do you think that means? Like, what does that tell you, you know? Yeah, exactly, you know? Ward don't want none. Uh, so go get them tune-ups, Ward. Uh, hurry up with it, too, you know? But, you know, so, so just stop talking, Ward people. You know, till he at least got them tune-ups under his belt, you know? And Floyd don't want it either. You know, fake-ass TBE can't even concede six pounds and dare to be great. Uh, only thing Floyd is great at is ducking. And uh, I mean uh, the kind of ducking you do outside of the ring, you know. Uh, so Golovkin is doing what Golovkin has to do. Stay busy, keep knocking people out, 
and uh, checking off another contender or pretender uh, off the list every time out. You know, but just think about that. Floyd actually put that rumor out there that uh, his people were in works with Triple G's uh, people, that they might actually have a fight made. And then again, just yesterday, a new interview with Loeffner was released where uh, he says he had no talks with Mayweather's camp and that that is all lies, okay? So I knew you had your hopes up. It's all lies. Floyd's just trying to, you know, whatever, blow some smoke up his fans' asses. Because he ain't fucking fighting Triple G, I'll tell you that much. Um, but think about this. War, uh, not Ward, but Triple G, what would you consider him? Like, like maybe the 10th best heavyweight ever, okay? Uh, and Floyd said he is the best fighter that ever lived, okay? The best fighter that ever lived won't either put on six pounds or concede six pounds and go fight the 10th best middleweight, okay? When it comes to all times, he'll be like, you know, like 80-something. But Floyd says he's number one. Uh, so the best ever uh, won't uh, give up six pounds and fight the 80th best ever guy? Like, come on now, Floyd. Come on now, Floyd. That shouldn't be a tough fight for you at all. You know, you should be able to take them six pounds and run around the ring and uh, beat the daylights out of Triple G, right? Wrong. Wrong. Floyd don't want none. We ain't never seen that fight either. We're going to see Khan, and then we're going to see, like, maybe Khan again, honestly, because who else does he have to pick? Honestly, we might see Khan, and then who's on the come up? Who's on the come up? He ain't gonna fight Laura. Um, maybe Kodo, if Kodo like all of a sudden ages or something, he might like make him come down to like 152 or some shit. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He's gonna fight two more cherries and retire, and then come back and negotiate for one more cherry pick of his career. And then call himself TBE and right off into the sunset. But I think everyone watching this video knows that he is not the TBE. Okay, Dude can't even concede 6 pounds and go fight the 10th best heavyweight ever. But he's supposed to be the best fighter that's ever lived. You know? That's ever lived. And he can't fight the 10th best only middleweight. Like, come on, Floyd can gain six pounds. He came in weighing 160 on the Madonna rematch. Give me a break. Give me a break, man. Anyway, uh, this uh, this isn't my full prediction. You know, I'm leaning towards uh, Triple G to win against Martin Murray. But I will uh, make a video where I break down the styles of each fighter and how they are going to mesh. And, uh how I think the fight will play out and who will win in my official prediction. But that fight is months away. But I just wanted to release this video now announcing that it is coming out, that it's happening. And I wanted to let you know what the, the real significance of this fight was. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. This is Thunderdome Boxing Talk, and uh, I'm going to tell you to stay safe till next time. Peace.